I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how much is one radian and how to sketch approximately angles given in radians. Question here is sketch each of the following 3 radians, 5 radians and 7 radians. Now when we are talking about radians we should consider pi. Pi is half circle right? 2 pi is full circle. That will help us to sketch an angle given to us. So first let me draw the coordinate axis x and y. Straight line, horizontal straight line will give us 180 degrees, correct? Now three radians. When we say plus three that means the angle is counterclockwise, right? Three radians means how much? Now, what is the value of pi? Value of pi is 3.14 approximately. Is that okay? That means if I go all the way from here till the end, it is going to be 3.14 radians. Do you understand? But where we are, we want to make an angle which is 3 radians. 0.14 less than 3. That is what 3 radians is, right? So that means it is almost 180 degrees, right? A linear line you should get, but it is kind of less. So it will be this much. Do you see that? So this angle, it should be a straight line from the origin, represents 3 radians. Now if pi is 3.14, then what is 2 pi? 2 pi will be 6.28, right? These values will help us figure out how much this angle is in terms of pi. Since we always see angles, radian angles in terms of pi, right? Now, 5 radians. 5 radians, one way is you can convert to degrees to get an idea, right? So if I convert 5 radians to degrees, what do I get? It is 5 radius. I can multiply by 180 degrees and divide by pi. And if I use calculator, I will get approximately 50 something, which is less than 5. Let me use a calculator. We'll do 5 times 180 divided by 3.14, which gives us a value of 286.7. So this is approximately 286.7. That means it is more than 270 by around 17 degrees, right? So that means the angle here will be approximately 5 radians. So this angle counterclockwise is 5 radians. Now let's look into 7 radians. 7 radians is more than 6, right? So approximately you can say it will be one full circle and slightly more. So it will be kind of like this. So that should be the location of 7 radians. These are all approximate values. So it will be like this. So that should be 7 radians, right? So that is how we can approximate. In general, you can think 3 radius is less than 3 times 60, 5 radius is less than 5 times 60, and 7 radian is less than 7 times 60. That will approximately give you the value, right? So 3 times 60 is 180, so it is less than 180 degrees. And 5 radians is less than 5 times 60, oh, sorry, 5 times 60, that means it is less than 300 degrees, right? And 7 radians is less than 420 degrees. That is how you can approximately get the value, right? Now, as an exercise for you, I will give you a few angles. And the angles which I have drawn here are all in standard position. This time I will give you angles which are not in standard position. 
you have to estimate how much each angle is right so if I give you angle like this from here let us say to this much how much will it be so the angle here is represented by this arc or let me make an angle also so how much angle will this arc represent at the center since it is less than 180 degrees it should be 3 radius do you see that how about this angle this time I will go from here and then say this position now how much will this arc represents it is the angle which is from here like this since it is less than 360 degrees it is approximately 6 radius right so this is approximately let me say approximately 6 radius but if I make an angle kind of like this how much will this represent that means an arc which is kind of like this so it may represent approximately minus 1 radian that is approximately 60 degrees do you see that so that is how you can relate your angles slightly less than 60 times the number I hope that helps have a good look at it and understand how to get concept of radian when you are talking about angles and it also works for arcs measurement of an arc is same as that of the angle if the radius is 1 remember that part also thank you and all the best